I, I think given the choice of dying on Earth or dying on Mars, I'd say, yeah, sure, I'll die on Mars. We all are experimenting with planet Mars. While experimenting, we got to see many shocking innovations that we would never have thought of, right? Have you ever thought of what Mars 2050 would look like? Whether we'll be having a house by 2050? Welcome to our channel where we explore the mysteries of the red planet, Mars. In 2050, join us on a journey to discover the latest developments in Martian technology, colonization efforts, and space exploration. Join us as we dive into the latest research, technology, and updates on this epic journey. From breathtaking landscapes to mind-blowing discoveries, this channel will take you on a thrilling ride to the future of our species. Don't miss a beat. By hearing the word Starship, we can understand what it implies. The spaceship designed for this mission is called the Mars Explorer, and it's an impressive feat of engineering and innovation. Do you know the Mars Explorer is a massive spacecraft, measuring over 300 meters in length and 100 meters in width? It's powered by a state-of-the-art propulsion system, which uses a combination of nuclear and electric propulsion to achieve speeds of up to 100,000 kilometers per hour. The ship is also equipped with advanced navigation and communication systems, which allow it to communicate with Earth and other spacecraft in real time. Moreover, the Mars Explorer is designed to carry a crew of up to 50 people, including scientists, engineers, and astronauts. The living quarters are spacious and comfortable, with individual cabins for each crew member, as well as communal areas for dining, recreation, and exercise. The ship also features a fully equipped laboratory, where scientists can conduct experiments and research the Martian environment. Furthermore, to protect the crew from the harsh conditions of space and Mars, the Mars Explorer is equipped with advanced light support systems, including air filtration and water recycling systems. The ship also has a radiation shield to protect the crew from the harmful effects of cosmic radiation. Most importantly, the Mars Explorer is designed to land on the surface of Mars, and it's equipped with a fleet of rovers and drones, which can explore the Martian terrain and collect samples for analysis. The ship is also designed to be self-sufficient, with the ability to generate its power using solar panels and a small nuclear reactor. Its advanced technology and capabilities are sure to capture the attention of audiences worldwide as they follow the mission to Mars with excitement and anticipation. We know that Mars is known for its dust storms, which can last for weeks and even months. These storms can cover the entire planet and can be extremely dangerous for humans and their equipment. Dust storms have been known to damage solar panels and other vital systems on spacecraft and rovers. We'll explain how these storms are formed and what precautions humans take to stay safe. To begin with, let's explore the extreme temperatures on Mars. The planet has a thin atmosphere, which means it can't trap heat as effectively as Earth. As a result, temperatures on Mars can range from a bone-chilling minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit to a scorching 70 degrees Fahrenheit in some areas. We'll discuss how these temperature fluctuations impact the Martian environment and why it's so difficult to maintain a livable habitat on the planet. Moreover, the shocking part is that Mars has clouds made of ice crystals, which create stunning visual displays in the sky. We'll show footage of these clouds and explain how they form and what they can tell us about the Martian climate. While this is still a far-off dream, scientists are studying ways to manipulate the planet's atmosphere and climate to make it more habitable for humans. From dust storms to extreme temperatures to beautiful ice clouds, the red planet is full of surprises. As humans continue to explore and study Mars, we're sure to uncover even more fascinating weather phenomena in the years to come. Did you know? Nuke Mars is a controversial proposal that has been suggested as a potential solution for terraforming Mars, a process of transforming the Martian environment into a habitable one for human beings. The idea was first introduced by Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, during an interview in 2015. Additionally, the concept of Nuke Mars involves detonating a series of nuclear bombs on the surface of the planet to release its frozen carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, creating a greenhouse effect that would warm the planet and help it retain heat. This, in turn, would cause the Martian ice caps to melt and release water vapor, which would further enhance the greenhouse effect and allow liquid water to exist on the planet's surface. Furthermore, while the idea of Nuke Mars has been met with criticism and concerns about the potential risks of such a mission, it has also generated a great deal of interest and discussion among scientists, engineers, and enthusiasts alike. 
The proposal has the potential to captivate audiences with its controversial nature, as well as the possibility of transforming an entire planet. It is important to note that the Nuke Mars proposal is still in the realm of speculation and has yet to be seriously considered or pursued by any organization or government. Nevertheless, the idea of Nuke Mars is a fascinating and thought-provoking concept that could capture the attention of a wide range of audiences. However, it is important to approach the topic with caution and acknowledge the potential risks and uncertainties involved. You all will be amazed by knowing that in the year 2050, the human race had made significant progress in the field of space exploration and had established a permanent settlement on the planet Mars. One of the most impressive structures on the Martian surface was the large, transparent domes that have been constructed to provide living quarters for the settlers. These domes will be massive, transparent structures that will serve as living quarters for the settlers. They will be built using advanced materials that can withstand the harsh Martian environment, including extreme temperatures, high levels of radiation, and low atmospheric pressure. Moreover, the domes will be pressurized to provide a comfortable living environment for the settlers, complete with breathable air, temperature control, and artificial lighting. They will also be equipped with advanced life support systems that will recycle waste products and produce oxygen, water, and food for the settlers. 4B, the domes will be arranged in clusters, each with its unique design and purpose. Some will be dedicated to agriculture, providing the source of fresh produce for the settlers, while others will be used for research and development, housing laboratories, and workshops for scientific experimentation and technological innovation. The dome was also used to film exciting events, such as the first human-led expedition to a nearby Martian canyon, or the arrival of a new shipment of supplies from Earth. These events were broadcast live to the channel's audience, creating a sense of excitement and immediacy that kept viewers engaged. Furthermore, the domes will be interconnected by a network of tunnels and walkways, allowing the settlers to move freely between them without the need to venture outside into the harsh Martian environment. This interconnectedness will create a sense of community and facilitate collaboration among the settlers, helping to ensure the long-term success of the mission. We are anticipating that the domes of Mars 2050 represent a stunning feat of engineering and design. They will capture the attention of audiences around the world, inspiring new generations of scientists and explorers to push the boundaries of what is possible and to reach for the stars. The power requirements for a Martian settlement are immense. The settlement requires a reliable and sustainable power source to support its inhabitants' needs, such as life support systems, lighting, and communications. Solar power is the most viable option, with the Martian surface receiving around 40% of the sunlight that Earth does. However, this still requires the deployment of massive solar arrays that can withstand the harsh Martian environment and generate enough energy to support the colony. Moreover, the power requirements for interplanetary transportation are also significant. Traveling to Mars requires tremendous amounts of energy to overcome the planet's gravitational pull and navigate the vast distances of space. This power could come from advanced propulsion systems, such as nuclear or fusion-powered engines, or even from innovative methods such as solar sails or beamed energy. Apart from this, the power aspect of a Martian settlement also includes the potential for new technologies that could revolutionize energy production on Earth. The harsh environment of Mars provides a testing ground for innovative and sustainable energy solutions that could benefit humanity as a whole. Looking back at our journey, we faced countless challenges and setbacks, but we never gave up. We pushed through the impossible and achieved what many thought was impossible. By getting fascinated, we have reached the very end of our video. Thanks for staying tuned till the end. Do not forget to comment below your favorite part and mention the part which has fascinated you the most. Hope you all have enjoyed our video. If so, give a like and be a subscriber. Continue watching.